let me first uh, say that uh, before we think about the economic impact, we have to recognize uh, that this is a tragedy for people that are affected, those uh, who lose their lives and, and their families and communities, uh, and therefore it is right to concentrate first and foremost on restricting the epidemics it, and then making sure that less people uh, suffer. We're projecting a relatively modest global growth, 3.3 percent. Uh, it is. We are still at the point of uh, quite a lot of uncertainty, so I would talk about scenarios rather than projections. In terms of scenarios, uh, the more, most likely scenario in our view is a V-shaped impact, in other words, sharp decline in economic activities in China, followed by a rapid uh, recovery uh, and a total impact on China uh, relatively uh, contained, uh, therefore impact on the world economy also uh, contained. Uh, but uh, we need to uh, remember that uh, there are uncertainties on the nature of these epidemics uh, and on the way it is impacting uh, sectors of the economies and value chains. We often make comparison between SARS in uh, the early 2000s and uh, the coronavirus. We have to remember that the virus is different, China is different, and the world economy is in a different place. This virus spreads differently than SARS and has already exceeded the number of people who lost their lives uh, in comparison to SARS. The Chinese economy is much more significant for the world than it was 8% of the world economy. Now it is 19% and it is much more integrated in Asia and with the rest of the world. Uh, therefore, disruptions are more likely to cascade uh, down to uh, other uh, countries. And uh, three, the world economy in the early 2000s was in a very strong shape, whereas uh, today uh, we are projecting a relatively modest global growth, 3.3%. Uh, it is a sluggish recovery after a down, downward in uh, last uh, year. For all these reasons, uh, we have to carefully assess what the impact is and turn a scenario into projections. Uh, we expect to have more data based on the restart of factories uh, and production in China uh, within the next week to 10 days. Ask me again then.